Today on this episode, we are cooking filet of brick. Sauteed in butter, onion and garlic, a tender dish it is. No, not really. We're using that brick to cook with to make what? A Cuban sandwich cowboy style. But the brick might be tasty, you never know. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by, and I would like to thank the folks at Ariat for sponsoring this video. Oh my gosh, they always keep me looking oh so good. And they have a variety of Western clothing, jeans, boots, shirts, so much more. Vest, they got you covered in anything you might need. And my favorite, wrinkle-free shirt. I hate to iron with a passion. I do, but oh my gosh. If you act now between now and August the 18th, you get $25 off when you buy two pair of britches. Who doesn't like $25 off? I mean, just, just so people know, britches means jeans. Well, for the non oaky <laughs> You don't go to this to the closet and say, I'm going to get a pair of jeans out there. I I'm going to I'm going to get a pair of britches out there no. and put them on. But the folks at area can keep you looking good as I do. And remember, all my favorites are up there. So, hey, get the wrinkle free. You won't be disappointed. But moving right along, what are we talking about today? And I've had so many requests for it. And guess what we're going to use? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We're going to use one of these. Oh, my God. It's hot even. That's going to that's going to be a little chewy. Yes, but if you cook it long enough, that brick will be just right. What are we talking about, though? Cuban sandwich. Now, that brick we're actually going to use to help cook that Cuban sandwich. We are. Now, sure, it started back in Cuba a long time ago, but when you get to looking, there's a bitter feud between Miami and Tampa of who's got the best one, who made the best one, where did it originate? But the brick layers up there in Miami, they're the ones that come up with the brick. I really think that's true. Now, you folks down there in Florida, Tampa, and Miami, y'all can be sure and comment and tell me, no, 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 that ain't where it come from. But they would be laying brick, take the hot brick, get one hot, laying out there in the sunshine, and when you put it on this sandwich, it would actually compress it a little, which it needs, but the heat from the brick would help everything go ahead and melt. Well, you couldn't be putting mayonnaise on a Cuban sandwich and then you're laying brick or you're working outside in the hot and the humid weather all day long because mayonnaise will spoil. So it's got to be mustard, folks. Now, the Tampa folks will tell you, hey, we're probably going to put some salami on ours because that's the way we like it. But traditionally, the Cuban sandwich was what? Just two kinds of meat. And it was usually some thin sliced ham and then some pork of some kind. We're going to recreate that pulled pork that I already have. So let's talk about the meat that was in these Cuban sandwiches they was. Now, a lot of them would take a pork shoulder and they would mix up this really citrus garlic based marinade, sort of like we make carnitas, and they would let that thing soak in there for six, seven hours. Then they would put it in the oven. They would slow roast it till it would just fall apart and then they just put it on. Now today, I'm using just a pork butt that I cooked a long time ago, been in the freezer, but we're gonna go back and refresh it here and make it into sort of what we call carnitas. So we have two pounds of pork butt is about what it is because I just chopped it up and put it in there. We're gonna let that warm up just a little bit before we do anything to it. As this goes along, we'll go back and we'll season it up to where it gives it that really citrusy garlic taste that's really going to counteract with that mustard after we get it on that bread and whew, it is going to be some fine dining it is. Well, as we're letting this warm through, let's talk about really the options that you have here when you're using some pork meat. A lot of people will do like maybe uh, just a pork loin and just cut it off pretty thin, put it on there. Uh, when they were cooking these pork butts or pork shoulders and roasting them all down, a lot of times they wouldn't chop it. They would just slice it thin. They would go ahead and get it back warm again, and then they would put it on that sandwich. But, hey, you can use a piece of pork chop sliced up thin, pork steak, whatever you got in I mind. I do love a shredded pork, though. Do you? I well. It's probably my favorite style of pork. Oh, so we have got this to where it is warm through, and we're going to take the juice of one orange, uh-huh, and maybe not any seeds if we get lucky. Uh, one more juice of one lime, and let's get to stirring because we want that citrusy flavor to blend there throughout. I did not know till I went to Florida the very first time and I went and cooked at, uh, for a benefit for 
I think it was called All Children's Hospital in Tampa Bay, St. Pete there along there. I'd never seen an orange tree in my life until I went down there. And uh, I made that guy that was driving me around in that little limousine stop so I could go out there and pick one. And he said, I don't think you're just supposed to go out there and pick one. Them to belong to somebody. I said, well, I just wanted to see what one was. And oh my gosh, a fresh orange is sort of like picking something good out of the garden. It's just pretty good eating. It is. So to that, after this is, yeah, it is warmed through six cloves of garlic. Now remember, don't put them right in there at the first because we don't want them to burn. But let's get that really mixed up well in here. We're gonna let that cook a little more, see if we can't crisp that up just a tad. But a lot of them you'd see in traditional, like food trucks and everything else today, that meat is sliced right off that pork shoulder or that pork butt. But hey, I'm gonna do it this way because one of the older recipes that I researched a long time back was what? Sort of like carnitas and shredded. Put it on there, I think it'll bite better, I think it'll taste better. <music> Well, it has browned a little. It has got some crisp to it. So let's get it over here out of the way for just a minute. You can see we have our brick wrapped in tin foil, ready to do his job and he is heating. Don't forget when you heat a brick like that, don't pick him up barehanded because it'll burn your finger. I know about them things. But when you're putting ham on there and they're using deli sliced ham in a lot of this stuff, I think we need to warm that ham first because I want to make sure that the cheese melts. Now, Oh my gosh, the bowl is even hot. It ain't gonna take long to warm this little stuff up, so we're just gonna scatter it out here just a minute. Let's give it a little fire, let it get a little heat to it, and see what happens. We probably won't have to turn them over. We just want it to get a little heat. Oh, that's what I'm liking. Don't take it long to warm up, it don't. Sorry, Big, but I gotta have all of this, buddy. I'm so sorry. Now, originally they used a the bread they made there in Cuban. Cuban. Wow. Originally they used a the bread that they did make in Cuba. It was sort of this shape and flat like this, but you can't find them here in my country, and I didn't have time to make no bread this morning. And I think, folks, if you're going to do this right, you're I just think... using a hoagie roll then? Yes. But we need to toast this just a little, but before we toast it, and the reason I'm toasting the inside of this bun is, I think, because you gotta have them big old slabs of dill pickle on there. And if you didn't toast them, I'm thinking that pickle juice would just be running down through there, making our bread get a little bit soggy. What do you think, Mage? Do you, do you think that's true? When your buns is nicely toasted, and them are what I call just right, here is the process that's gonna take place now. You know, you can use any mustard on this sandwich you want to. Regular mustard, Dijon mustard, but folks, I think this is the best mustard of all to put on this sandwich. Sweet and spicy, got some green chilies in it. Really do like this, but guess what? We are going to be in Hatch, New Mexico with these folks doing some demos on Labor Day weekends. Now, if you want to try this, there is a special discount code to where you can get 15% off if you want to try it. Folks, you can't go wrong with this mustard. We're going to lather us a good amount of mustard on one side of that bun right here. Folks, you better get up here and get in line. Cowboy is going Cuban.
I have went to Cuba, I have. Now, you see me when we put this together, when you put it on the grill, or if you're using a panini or a flat top grill, whatever you got, make sure you butter the top of that, turn it over, put you a skillet on there, hot brick, something, but you need to give it a little mash is what you gotta happen. But make sure when you turn it back over, you butter that other side. But I have been waiting for one of these cause people have been telling me how good they are and this one does look fantastic. You can hear that crunch. Mm. I know why people are saying you need to make this sandwich. Mm. Makes me want to do the Cuban macaraca. The salsa. Ooh, Meiji, that is some fine dining. Now you gotta get this really crisp too. I want y'all, you want that crispness to this sandwich. And hey, if you hear the lawnmower in the background, the neighbor decided that he would mow the back 40 today while we was filming, <laughs> which is all right, Maybe it we'll, is. Maybe we'll feed him a sandwich after he yeah. gets done. We'd like to thank Ariat for sponsoring this video. Be sure and check them out there. Get them two pair of britches member for $25 off. I mean, who don't love some britches or as Shan calls them, jeans. Yes, you can have some of them. But it is with great pride, honor, and privilege that I tip my hat to all the servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. We commend you all, we do. Rest of you, come on in here, cause we're going to Cuba. Yes, we are, and I am gonna give you a little salsa right here at the end, and a big old hug. God bless you, each and every one, and I'll see you down the Cowboy Cuban Sandwich Trail. See, these are britches. These are what they call britches. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, but See, well, people wear jeans. I've never said, hey, I'm going to go get some britches. Well, I'm just telling you right now. I mean, I know you do. People in our part of the world, which is God's country, they like britches. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> well, it was a hot day it was this morning. And these pups have been out here braving it, all except Duke. Duke has went Duke in the has house. Lazy. He has, for a fact. Lulu, you got to catch it, Cletus. Even Mage can catch, can't you, Mage? See there? Oh, you're a big dog. You can have two pieces. Uh oh, somebody's taking day off. Go and take a nap. What you doing in there? Now, we got them all tasted up. Not tasted 